Okay, so now that I have the seven string guitar, um, I want to demonstrate uh, what channel two sounds like. So channel two, I primarily use as my main heavy rhythm crunch channel. That sound that I use probably 90% of uh, any evening that I'm playing a show with Dream Theater. So it's a very, very important channel. The way that I set it, I, I uh, try to get a really aggressive yet tight sound. So there's a very careful balance that you have to kind of um, get to with the amount of gain that you use, the amount of bass that you use, um, treble, things like that are really sensitive to get this sort of big, fat, thick rhythm sound, but something that's usable as far as playing tight, chunky rhythm. So um, it's very obtainable. It is, to me, the signature boogie thing that only boogies do and especially that only C pluses do, in my opinion. And being that my JP2C is a bona fide 2C plus, the real deal, um, you get it out of this amp perfectly. Um, so let me play some things with that kind of sound and show you what I'm talking about. And then I'll show you what I do to, to even get a larger sound as far as making it sound more stereo, which I do with a bunch of different modulation effect. So here's the basic sound of the guitar in channel two. Alright, so you can hear it has a very rich sound as far as the layering of the distortion and the harmonics, but it's really tight. So if I'm playing, you can hear how immediate and fast it is on the low end. Um, one of the keys to obtain that sound is the graphic EQ. Now this amp has two graphic EQs um, and you set it to uh, you know, kind of come up with that classic V, manipulate it depending on your guitar as far as the lows and the highs, but basically start there and you'll get this big three-dimensional chunky boogie sound. All right, so again. <laughs> So what I would do um, at any point in the night, if I'm playing certain rhythm parts and I want to open up a certain section of the song, maybe it's the chorus to the song, maybe it's where the chords kind of open up, I'll literally use chorus, I'll use different types of modulation effects. that same part I played before. Let's see, use a different, uh, this is a 1210 TC electronic. All right, so that's the seven string and channel two. And uh, there's one other riff I want to show you that I think sounds really cool on this channel. So I'm going to switch to the drop D tuning on the Majesty. Okay, so I have this beautiful Majesty Artisan guitar, my Music Man signature guitar. Um, and this one is tuned to uh, drop D. So on the original uh, Boogie video that we uh, first came out with, I played this one riff um, off of our album, The Astonishing, from the song our new world and it's a really good example of how the JP2C kind of commands this really big guitar tone that um, starts a song, gets everybody pumped. Uh, it's really important and something that's not always easily attainable but uh, with this amp it's, uh, it does it perfectly. So I want to demonstrate this riff again. So first just dry and then I'll show you with the uh, modulation on, which is the way we recorded it on the new album. <laughs> So 
the cool thing that I noticed right away is that I'm playing these double stop kind of where I have more than one note ringing at the same time. Um, you know, things like that. And even though there's a bunch of distortion, the, the cool thing that, again, only a boogie does is that I'm not sure what the mojo is, but it seems to individually distort the notes and then you can still hear everything that I'm playing. You can still hear these melodies. It doesn't just turn into mush. It's distorted, but it's clean. It's a weird phenomenon. It's definitely a signature boogie thing. Um, and at the same time, when I play a big chord and I want it to sort of blossom and open up, without changing the amp settings, it does that. It just has to do with the velocity I'm, I'm hitting at and the kind of chord. <laughs> to kind of choke down and get the definition of the riff. It does that at the same time, so it's magic. I don't get it. Anyway, um, that riff sounds even better uh, and get, has a nice wide sound to me with a little bit of modulation that's going to kind of stereoize it. So I would do this on that song. Thank <laughs> you.